David, it was the fight we wanted and the outcome the sport needed. Without a doubt, we didn't want a 12-round snooze fest here. We wanted a fight that would really get people excited. We wanted Schwartz to come at Tyson and really try and put him under pressure, which he did do in that first round. But Tyson Fury's boxing ability, his skill, his class showed. And the shots he put together from the south ball, from the south ball switched back to orthodox. It was punch perfect. It was a real statement of intent to everybody in the heavyweight division to stake his claim as the number one spot. Yeah, the jab was flawless in the opening round. He was making him miss. But it was, let's forget that. Let's talk about when he opened up. Some of those shots. That was the most vicious Tyson Fury I've ever seen, David. I, I, I didn't know he possessed that type of, uh, that spite when he has a man hurt. You know, he, in the past, he's kind of held people up and it's all a bit messy. Yeah. It looked crisp, it looked sharp, it looked powerful. Mm. The guy's face, Schwartz's it was face, mess. it was messed, it was messed up. And it, was, it wasn't a long time he was in the ring. Mm. You know, in two rounds, he dismantled him, broke him up, and pretty much the, the referee did the right thing, jumped in. It, the referee stopped it at the same time as the, the, the towel came in from Schwartz's corner. He came in with the Apollo Creed outfit yeah, on yeah. and he's delivered them something very American tonight. Yeah. Is that a fair comment? That was a very yeah, American yeah. performance, not a European performance. No, that wasn't the performance he's been putting on back home, that's for sure. You know, his last fight against Deontay Wilder was every, got everybody talking. This time, once again, both him and Wilder both had spectacular knockouts. They both had their, the fight since. They've both been exciting. Let's hope they both have exciting wins the next time around against Louis Ortiz with Wilder and whoever Fury fights next. But next year, I really, really want the Wilder Fury rematch. We need it. Boxing needs that. We're all having conversations, having the conversations in the studios back there, having the conversations here about a likely opponent where it, it come October, November. I would say it's got to be a guy that's generally recognised in the top. And more than that, it's got to be a big guy, Dave. Just quickly. Yeah, we, we needs to be a big guy. It needs to be someone similar stature to himself. There's not many guys out there that aren't tied up, though. So it's going to be a difficult getting the, the right opponent. Whoever it will be, everyone's going to complain. If it's not Wilder or um, Andy Ruiz Jr., everyone's going to complain. <laughs> but a fight I wouldn't mind. still watch it. A fight I wouldn't mind seeing is Dylan White. Yeah, that might be that, that might be a good a good shout. Who knows, David? I know one thing tonight. He promised. He came and he absolutely delivered. This entire place was just full of excitement. You could see people laughing and smiling. That's what they came for. Beautiful entertainment from the big lad.